What's up, guys? My name is Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Thursday, February 1st. In this video, I'm going to do something I haven't done for several weeks now, which is I'm going to record three different games in one single video. So we're going to play Wordle, Connections, and then we'll do the mini crossword back to back. Let's go ahead and get started with Wordle. Today, uh, the randomizer gave me the word fishy, so I thought I'd put that in. Seems like a pretty decent word. Let's see if it gets me any letters today. Okay, just an I. Uh, there's still an E. Maybe we do something that ends in ER. Well, it's not going to be a word like, I don't know, liner or something, because the I is not going to go in that position. So, um, so maybe we don't do that. Maybe we do something like, well, it's not slime, but, um, bride. Why don't we go with bride? Okay, there is an E in the word. We found the placement for the I as well. It's not while. There's no H. Um, well, we just did bride, so there's no D. So it's not going to be glide. Um, hmm. Something I-C-E twice? Yeah, maybe twice. Seems like a word that we might have had already, but I have no idea. Um, okay, it wasn't any of those letters, so it's not prize. I thought possibly trying a Z there, but um, there could also be another vowel in here somewhere. Oh, alive! I just put the V in, and <laughs> is it alive today? Yes, there we are. Oh my gosh, that is that is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I just put the V in there, and I was just talking about how there might be another vowel in the word, so I was like, uh, maybe this starts with a vowel. I was like, we haven't used the A yet. So, that all came together very nicely. Fishy, bride, twice, and alive. So, alright, that wraps up Wordle. Let's go ahead and move on. We will do Connections next, because I'm sure Connections is... Probably the, one of the more popular games uh, that people enjoy watching. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Connections. Thursday, February 1st. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Let me zoom in. Let me get the setup right. All right. So the unedited connection solve before I upload it as a short. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Pug lover. Okay, those are the first two words. Built, brain, buff, cut, nut. Gotta start looking for words that rhyme now, because yesterday we had a rhyming thing. So cut and nut. Ripped. Oh, well, yeah, ripped and jacked on here. That's interesting. Um, But also, like, if you cut something... For ripped, like a piece of paper. You could cut a piece of paper. I don't know. Uh, oh, actually, cut, trim. Is that what pair means? I think that's what pair means. In clip. Yeah. Okay, I actually like these. Because I think maybe jacked and ripped go together. Make shorter. Okay. Is there jacked and ripped? Prune is also on here. What does prune mean? Swole and built. Okay, yep. I didn't even see those words yet, but that's definitely it. Nut and walnut are on here. That's interesting. Oh, a lover, a fan. Um, I saw a fan first. A fan and a nut, right? Like somebody who goes crazy over something, a fanatic. A lover, and I think a buff also works for that. I'm going to put that in, I think. Yeah, enthusiast. Uh, walnut, brain, prune, and pug. I think this one's going to be tricky for me to think of the category name. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I have no idea how pug would fit with anything. My my brain has no information about pugs. <laughs> um, and prune, I don't exactly know what prune is as well. Prune and pug, like, I'm not going to think of anything for these, so... Um, yeah, I, I can't even come up with a single answer for this. There's no point in... Uh, and me even trying to come up with a yeah I, I don't know words I don't know meanings of things I don't know like like uh like what is it wrinkly things yeah I guess walnuts are wrinkly and prunes okay brain oh yeah I'm not even thinking about what they look like but yeah brain has got that same wrinkly look to it See, I don't even really know what a prune is. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> like, it's a fruit, but, like, I don't know what it is. Okay. It's like a plum? Like, obviously, like, I've heard of it, and I, I but I've never seen one or had one in my life. Then, yeah, a pug. I always forget dog breeds. And uh, I knew Pug. There's like certain breeds that I like. Um, that I kind of get mixed up. And I think... Uh, like, like Bulldogs and Pugs. Like, I, like if you asked, if you showed me one, if you said, what's the name of this dog? I, I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's just, it's just... I'm not good with information like that. Anyway, I did pretty good on this one if it wasn't for that last category. Was never going to get that one. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move on. We can go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and move back to... Not Wordle. Uh, I just want to get it off the screen so I can... Um, Go to the mini crossword. All right, here we go. Mini crossword. Let's go ahead and um, get started here on the mini crossword today. We got some circles here. So let's see what those circles are all about. Uh, oh, I didn't even transition, did it? Oh, no, I did transition already. <laughs> Don't know how to work this OBS thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm looking over. I see two screens, and I can transition over to the one. On it. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, mini crossword time. Up to the job. Um, up to the job. Like you're up for something, or it's like I thought it was like up up for the task. I don't know. Up to the job. Up to the. I don't know. What does that mean? Quiet periods. Quiet periods. Silence. Um. Quiet periods. Animal in the Andes. Okay. Like a mountain animal here? Like what what the heck is that? Um I don't know. Is there an animal that's known for being in the Andes? I the, I don't know this kind of animal knowledge. These these animal facts. Nickname for the NFL. Giants? Oh, how do I not know this one? I'm a huge NFL fan, but obviously not a Giants fan. Um, I say obviously because if I was, then I would have known this answer. <laughs> um, NFL Giants. What's the name for the NFL Giants? Huh. I guess I don't know that. The Y of NYC, I don't know. I'm just kidding. It's got to be York. 100%. Uh, 100%. 100%. It's all. All. Yeah, there we go. Like an overstuffed backpack. Heavy? 
I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like if I have a big, uh, like a backpack just full of stuff, like it's kind of hard to carry. It might be heavy. I don't know. Heavy doesn't really want to cross. That doesn't seem right. I, I don't think that's right, but we'll see. Oh, I know Spanish, so uh, my name in Spanish is Me Llamo, so all right, it's definitely not heavy. I, I don't know what it would be, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> Cartoon character who says, be very, very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Uh, that's Elmer. Elmer. There's three L's in this. Lulz, okay, three L's is, it got my attention. Opposite of, uh, floated? So, it's not sink, it would be sunk? Sank. <laughs> Why did I put sunk in? <laughs> Sank. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, we got a, uh, that's funny. They got Yamo and Yama on here. And then Lols. That's a lot of L's. Oh, and then L, 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 L. Okay. I see. Um. Up to the job. Okay. Um. Able. Able. Bulky. Cayman? No. <laughs> Bulgy. G-men. Makes a lot more sense. They're not the... Giants. They're the giants. Didn't we just have bulky as an answer in Wordle? That's why I'm thinking. That's why I put that in. Ah. <laughs> uh, so you had New York for NYC and then New York Giants back to back clues. And then you had quiet periods and you had. Be very, very, or very, very, very quiet. Um, and then you had Llama and Yamo. Pretty interesting one today. Uh, this was fun. Uh, technically, we put in Bulky first, so we didn't get it on our first try. But I don't consider this an L. I consider this a W because I, I, I don't know. Technically, it's 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 not a it's not a it's not a win, but um, I did get it, and I, I I'm learning. I I just learned um about the New York Giants being called the G-Men, and um don't put in sunk, I guess, and uh, learning about prunes, and uh, that's about it. And apparently, llamas are. In the Andes, which uh, makes a lot of sense. I should have known that. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I, I, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I like doing these games all in one video, and I kind of want to keep doing that in the future, but uh, definitely not every day. So anyway, hope you guys all have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.